How's it going? Greg here from TSG, and I've got a little bit of a confession for you. I love Haikyuu. That's right. I love the show Haikyuu. I love the show so much that during ALA this year, I decided I wanted to cosplay Asahi from the show. And let me tell you, when I cosplayed Asahi at ALA, something very interesting happened that kind of really stuck with me. I didn't have the typical cosplay interactions that I'm used to having, which is the Hey, let me get your picture. Oh my god, I love your cosplay. High five, and then walk away. Each interaction had a conversation. It ranged from 30 second conversations about, oh my god, did you catch the latest episode? To 5 to 10 minute conversations about, oh my god, how did you do the wig for your cosplay? Oh my god, Greg, are you using your real hair for that cosplay? Um, oh my god, I love this character. I love what's going on. I love the show. I love your cosplay. Hey, you know, we're ch you know, chatting with everybody, having a good time, and that is something that I had never experienced before, and it left such an impact on me that while I was gearing up for Hanadoki Con a couple weeks ago, I posed a question to May about possibly making a video all about Haikyuu while we were out there, and knowing how May is, she says, hell yeah, you fucker, you better do this video, don't pussy out like what you usually do. I'm sure that's what she actually said. I'm sure I'm not paraphrasing because sometimes that's how she talks to me because that's how she can get me to actually do things and not stay in my anxious little bubble. So, thanks to her, I decided to kind of piece together some things, piece together a few questions and whatnot, and uh, while at Haunted Doki Con a couple weekends ago, I sat down with a few Haikyuu cosplayers and uh, kind of interviewed them, if you will. Uh, we talked about a plethora of things, everything from favorite ship to why people should check out the show, why they love the show, and so much more. I could just spoil the video now, but I'm not going to. So, without further ado, I would like to present to you a video that I call We Love High Q. Let's get started, shall we? So, uh, what everybody name in We Love High Q? I'm Loom. I'm Shao. Hi, I'm Kay. I'm Jojo. I'm Abel. I'm Momo. I my name is Nala. <laughs> my name is Kyo Chan. I go by Danny. Hi, I'm Blitzkrunk. And I'm <laughs> I'm Kosa Buket. I'm Brave Palm Trees. Woo! Go, go! <laughs> yeah, you gotta say And I'm Cheerum Charms. And I love Haikyuu. How did you find out about Haikyuu? I found out about Haikyuu via um, one of my favorite Tumblr artists, Moogie 000. Um, and um, she just kind of Like, come look at this. And I was like, my new bed. Uh, well, Linda showed up about it for like weeks, so I decided to watch it with them finally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're like, yeah. Good job. Yeah. Thanks to you. Like, yeah. I got into it. These people? These people. Hey. Last week. Last week. Oh, so we got some new blood in here. Awesome. Uh, I learned about it from this one. Yes, and I learned about it from a, another friend. Nice. Watch it, we're not gonna be friends anymore. Oh, the and ultimatum. I have to copy this character. I did it, fell in love with it, and here I am now. Um, my friend, she actually dragged me into this. She was like, hey, you're gonna sit your ass down. And she just like, she turned the computer on, and like, I got, okay, so I got seven episodes, and I'm like, I'm not feeling it. And then I just saw 
I fell in love with Nishinoya. He was love at first sight, I swear. Like, I saw him and then I just saw, saw Tonic. I'm like, oh, bro, TP. But then I, damn, damn. Bros. Bro. So, bro. Here I am, two years in, Haikyuu Hell. Through our friend Kylie. Yes. I don't know how she found out. I about found, it. okay, so I watched all of three and then there's like, oh, there's more sports anime. So I was like, well, why not add to the collection? So I watched all of them. Her. Me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I found out about Haikyuu from me. <laughs> we got dragged in sports, uh, sports hell by our friend Zinghart. Oh, fun. Yeah, I don't know how they found out about it. Oh, you just dragged in. <laughs> hey! People are. Ooh. Have to go spy. What do you love the most about Haikyuu? I love the animation. The, the manga is really good. And it looks good. It looks, it looks awesome. Um, I just love it all. Uh, all the pretty boys, because they're all pretty boys. Okiwa, you alien trash. Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's just, and the way that they teamwork and everything like that. It falls very well to volleyball and everything that they do. There. It's just really well written and directed, and the animation is beautiful. And I love character centric animes. And all the characters in here are really good, even the ones I hate are good characters. And you have really good chemistry. The characters me. Yeah, same, the characters, the definitely. Terrible people. The terrible people, the dude. The face. <laughs> the faces. The faces, the characters make. It's so ridiculous. I kind of like how they're pretty accurate about volleyball. So I'm on a board. It's just, the show just makes me so happy, like, it's such a happy show, like, I mean, you feel so much, but it's just, you feel, it's like, so happy, like, just, I just watch it, and, I don't know, I, I just watch it, and everyone, everyone's just so hot, and, hey, it was in your arms. That's a good reason. I like all of the different characters, because they all have different personalities, and they're really easy to relate to, like, every single character is relatable. It was Umi's arms. The characters and their development, I think, would be the most important thing for me. Bokuchel. Bokuchel. Best Kudo. Best Kuchel. Number one Kuchel. Try to mock <laughs> Zuki. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh! Hey, you know what? Hey, hey, hey. He is my favorite child. He is my favorite child. But you should like volleyball for what it is and not because of the people who play it. Who are your favorite characters? My top favorite character is Hinata. Um, I love Kabiyama so much. He is a sweet, awkward child who doesn't know how to dance but wants to dance really bad. <laughs> I'm thinking of the whole thing. I fell in love with him at that point. I was like, look at him awkwardly dance. He can't dance. Yeah. And um, I love Kenma. She's hilarious. Oh. They're on both of them are a blast. Yeah, they are. Yamaguchi is a sweet little taco. Oh. Oh. Never not love him. The whole team is great. The whole team and their dynamics together is just so good. I love I love every character except Akawa. Um, Tanaka, of course! Duh. Um, Mokso and Makashi because he's just he's so aesthetically pleasing. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna go with my trash. Oh, my trash, Kudo. Kudo. Hey! Noya was actually my first love. So. Who was? Noya. Noya! Noya's Noya. 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 He's just so excited. He's got that rolling thunder for days. Trash? 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 Yeah, um. My blog actually says, my description is actually, um, Iwa 
Hi, Izumi. Hajime. I know. It's the love of my life. So, um... Yeah. Oi, Kawatomi. <laughs> you, Izumi, Hajime. And Kenma. And, and Bokuto. All of them. All of them. Bokuto. And Daichi. I mean, I draw a lot of inspiration for myself. Nice. Suga. <laughs> Suga! Suga's a cutie! It's pretty great. Uh, favorite match? The first time that... Yeah. In the beginning. And the, because he was just, his, the face he made was so blissful. And he was just, it's all he ever wanted. It's what he's been working for, like, for so long. And he finally got what he wanted from someone to send him. And it was just, it, I fell in love with the show. Nice. I nice. fell in love with the show. My favorite match would have to be the training match between Kurasuno and Fuguro Dani. Oh, that was incredible. Is that the one with Emo, Bo with Emo Boku? Oh, That's incredible. And he goes into Joey's and they're like, what are you doing? And he's like, don't talk to me! Does Hinata's training with all the little kids count? Yes! <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> it's so great! I love it. It's great. There's like all the kids are for some reason TV versions of other characters. They really are. Yeah. Every single time with Kawa Oh, alrighty. Kawa <laughs> loses. Ooh. Somewhere, we're trying to look for her. Uh, uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're back. Okay, this oh. is Alba Josai versus Car It's so intense. It, it is too intense. I can't handle it. I just like it because I call it like shit. I love how all of Alba Josai just starts to slip a little. You're like, oh, yeah. they're not as perfect as you think. No, it's I pretty great. Like, oh, God, you're hot. <laughs> Whoa, nice. It probably <coughs> will have to be. I have to keep thinking anime and manga differently. So, okay, uh, anime wise, I think that I do like the current match as well. Just because it's the most exciting one so far. <laughs> That's incredible. I love it. And I also love what's going on behind you right now. <laughs> um, probably the Seijo and Kanasuno match for season. First season? Ooh. Season because um, Seijo won. So. Seijo versus Karasuno. Nice. All of them. All of them. <laughs> I don't know because half of them make me really sad. I like the training camp uh, matches. The arts. Yeah. Those are really fun. I liked how much Karasuna lost. That made me happy. Dude, they got ripped because of those <laughs> disciplinary drills. They have two assholes now. Yep. <laughs> Nakama versus Karasuna. <laughs> Ooh, all right, nice. You no, know, I think any Karasuna match would be my favorite. Nice. Seeing how we evolve as a team, that's the most important. Favorite ship. <laughs> favorite ship. Or ships. Okay. I have an OT3, and it is Kanata in the middle. The little sandwich. The, the little, the two most socially awkward boys in the show with the most personality and the best social skills. I feel like it's a good little sandwich and you know, it makes everything and it, it makes everyone feel good. Yeah. It feels good when we get something out of it. Also, um, Bokuto and Hashi, obviously, they're married. They're all Bokuto. I'll shoot them in whatever way. They look like they can pull it off. Yep. Yeah. Um, I only like a call when he's with Iwazumi. Ooh, there you go. He'll kick his ass. There you go. And does. Favorite ship? That's not easy at all. Um, I'm a huge shipping trash. Uh, if you wanted to go with normal ships, it would have to be I'm huge Mokohaka and um, Kuro Ken. But I also really like Ken Hina. And I super love um, the third gym, which is Mokoto, Makashi, um, Tsukishima, and Kuro. Because, th man, you can't have OT4 right there. Okay, well, I also kind of ship Kenma Hinata and Kageyama. Nice. So it just fits. Um, uh, Daichi Suga married for life, so, you know. 
I don't even know if that's a ship if it's canon, but... It's Mama and Papa, come on. It doesn't really make sense, but I really like Yachin Kyoko. I just think they're really cute. Oh! They're, they're sweet. They are sweet. And everybody together in one pile. Of one pile, just this a lot. It's a dog pile. Mom and Dad. Hey! Uh, ooh. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for days. What's yours? Just show you. Oh, Asanoia! Hey! Eli, Zumi, and Takayama. Oh! Look! 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 Them over there, you see them? Oh, de definitely not them. Not, not, not them, not them, not them, not at all, not at all. Uh -uh. I, I like them, my, my Kagehina. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, my Bukuraka. Yeah, hello, Bukuraka. Um, they're cute. They're dragging me. I'm like, they're dragging me into the Tiger Gate. Yeah, they're dragging me into the fifth thing on dragging me. Like, not sure, but definitely <laughs> not them over there. Not them, not them, nope, no, nope, not them, not at all, not at all, not at all. Iwa Oi, Kageyachi. I have a lot of rare, rare pairs. Nice! Uh, hey! Uh, but Iwa Oi probably, actually, yeah. Or Kuroka, that's my other. Kuroka, that's great. Bokuaka. Tokiyama. <laughs> Dude, I love Tokyo Ghoul! <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, I think I broke I Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi, do you need to go to the bathroom for a moment? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay, final three. Okay, Kuroka, 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 Kuroka,
I told you it was gonna be for Suki. What a shitty reason. I'm sorry, Yamaguchi. Dad. Suki, I, I think it's an day. hey. You know what? I think it's an okay reason. There you go. So I have to admit. I did not adequately prepare an ending for this video. I actually, up until this very moment, have kind of struggled with how I wanted to end this video. I thought about just kind of doing a little ditty at the end saying, hey, check out all these awesome people, they're pretty cool. Uh, I also thought about just giving all of my answers to all the questions that I asked everyone else. But then I kind of started thinking, and instead of just doing something bland like that, I do kind of want to focus on the last part of this video, specifically the last question, which is to anybody who hasn't watched the series, why should they check it out? Why should they give the show a time of day? And for me, that is a multi-part answer, which ties into why I did this video in the first place. Haikyuu, in and of itself, has so much going for it. It has a little bit of everything for anyone who wants to check out the show. If you like sports, you can watch the show for the sports aspect. If you like action anime, the way that they portray the sports and the action in the show is really captivating. If you want a story-driven show, the story behind, you know, you know, the events of the tournaments and the teams and everything like that is just so captivating. Each character has their moment and time to shine, no matter how big or small the character is. And, you know, there there is literally something for everybody. There are characters for everybody. There is aspects for the show that anyone from any genre of anime or television or movie or pieces of media, like no matter the genre, you will enjoy the show. And that's something that I've stuck with for a, ever since I started watching the show. But more importantly for me, Q is way more than the show itself. Q is a community. And it's the first time I've been active in a fandom or a community, the way that I look at it, since my Bleach days seven, eight years ago, back when I was in high school. And as somebody like me, who generally can be very hypercritical of fandoms, you know, I generally kind of see bad things in fandoms and get very wary and gun-shy, and I don't think it's... Uh, up until Haikyuu came, I never was, I didn't really get active in fandoms because I kind of admittedly got burnt out. But something that the Haikyuu fans have done for me is not only kind of really bring me, you know, get me to open up to being engulfed in a fandom again, but they're seriously some of the greatest fucking people you will ever meet. I have not met a bad apple in this fandom, and I have met nothing but the most loving, caring, kind, accepting, respectable people doing this video when I was at ALA and etc. etc. And the whole point of this video was to just capture within a certain amount of time at one small convention just how great these people are. And I got so much more out of this video than I ever would have expected. There were so many conversations that we had, both on camera and off camera. I went, you know, we chatted and spent the convention with these people. I went drinking with some of these people and just got drunk with some of these people and had a great time. And I don't drink with strangers. I'm very particular with who I drink with and who I kind of go partying and hanging out with. I'm so particular. But these people were so loving and so kind. I hung out with strangers. And you know what? They were some of the coolest fucking people I have ever met. They really have. And that's the point of this video. We love Haikyuu. And this is what the people who love Haikyuu, this is what it's all about. And I know I'm rambling at this point and I'm so sorry. I know the video should be ending by now. But I just want to get that across. I just want people to know that this is the most chilled fandom, the most loving fandom, the most respectable fandom I've ever met. It doesn't matter if you watch the show for the sports, if you watch the show because you're a Yaoi fangirl, it doesn't matter if you watch the show because you want to see good character writing, or you want to see a story arc, or you just like volleyball, or you want to see action in your show, it doesn't matter. They, you can say why you watch the show, and guess what? It doesn't matter because you like Haikyuu. And because you like IQ, you are a part of this community. And I have not seen that. 
And it's just, I wish I could put it into, like, the words that I could put it into that, like, I know that was redundant, but I wish I could put it into just really good words. Like, words that can adequately represent. But I feel like that this video already did that. And I'm so thankful that this happened. This video could have been a fucking dud. I could have just interviewed a couple people and it could have just fallen flat. And I could have just sat there and been like, alright, well, that was a failed idea. I could have let my social anxiety get the best of me and not even interview anybody and be too scared to. Because May had to keep reminding me, hey, you should talk to these high Q cosplayers and get them to be a part of your video. And thanks to me opening up, it paid off in so many ways. And this is something that I would have never had if I hadn't have decided to watch the show when I did. And it's, it's, there's so much that I can talk about. I can just gush about the people that I met. I could probably do a whole fucking hour about every single person in this video and just how incredible they are and how awesome of a person they are, how creative they are, how smart and talented every person in this video is, which I probably will at some point. But for right now, I just want to leave it at this. To everyone in this video, Thank you, because you guys have proven to me that fandoms can be awesome and can be incredible and can be fun and respecting and just all around badass. You guys have turned a skeptic around, and I thank you for that. And I think the reason why everyone should watch Haikyuu is because it's more than just a show. It's a community of people that love each other and care about each other and from what I've been talking for some of the people that I've been able to talk to after Hanadoki just push each other to do creative cool things and that's what I've always wanted to do be in a community of people that pushes each other creatively and this high group of Haikyuu fans has done that already which is incredible to say the least so there's any reason why you need to check out this show it's not only because the show is incredible but the people who watch the show are just as incredible if not more incredible so i'll leave it at that and i'm sorry for the weird rambling ending to this video but i just kind of wanted to show why i made this video because i wanted to show everyone in the world why everyone here is incredible so thank you guys so very much and as always, I'm Greg, and not only do I love Haikyuu, but I love you all. Thank you very much. And we'll catch you guys on Tuesday for a new episode of TSG. Take care, alright?